Hi, so here we are with one more number pattern and the number pattern over here is 7, 20, 47, 94 and 167, right? So what is the first step we follow? So the first step we follow is we find the differences. So 20 minus 7 is 13, 47 minus 20 gives us 27. 94 minus 47 this will give us 14 minus 7 is 7 and 8 minus 4 is 4 47 right and 167 minus 94 will give us 7 minus 4 3 and 16 minus 9 7 so these are the differences I don't think we can find any logic in these differences so we have to go to our next step what is the next step? Next step is we'll write the squares of the numbers because all these numbers are increasing very rapidly. From these differences, we can find at least one thing that the numbers are increasing very quickly, very fast. Increase in number is very fast, right? So when we get this kind of difference where the numbers or the difference is increasing with a big margin, we'll write the squares and see if we find any logic from there. So I'm erasing all this. Yes, if you see uh, these kind of numbers directly where the numbers are increasing with very big margin every time, you can directly write squares and cubes of the numbers. First, I'm going to write square. So here is one square, which is one. And then square of two is four. Square of three is nine. Square of four is 16. And square of five is 25, right? But still, these numbers are nowhere near. 25 and 167 there is a difference of 100 plus right similarly there is a huge difference between 94 and 16 so I feel this is also not going to work so let me remove these numbers and and now I'll write the cubes of the numbers so one cube is one cube of two is eight cube of three is three three is a nine nine three is a twenty seven cube of four is 64 and cube of 5 is 125 so let's find the difference what we get 7 minus 1 gives us 6 20 minus 8 gives us 12 47 minus 27 gives us 20 and 94 minus 64 gives us 30 right and 167 minus 125 gives us 7 minus 5 2 and 6 minus 2, 4, 1 minus 1, 0, 42. Right? Yes. And this is nothing but 2 multiplied by 3. And this is 3 multiplied by 4. And this is 4 multiplied by 5. And this is 5 multiplied by 6. And this is 6 multiplied by 7. 6, 7 is 42. Right? So what can we write from here? The 7 is the cube of 1 plus this much, isn't it? And this 20 is the second term and it is equal to cube of 2 plus 12. And 12 is 3 multiplied by 4. So from here, I think we can write nth term Tn is equal to n cube plus n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 right yes isn't it see this is the fifth term and this is equal to cube of 5 which is 125 plus 42 and 42 is nothing but 6 multiplied by 7 right so to find this term which is the sixth term we have to find t6 and it will be equal to cube of 6 that is 6 cube plus 6 plus 1 multiplied by 6 plus 2, right? And cube of 6 is 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6. 6, 6 are 36. So this will be equal to 36 multiplied by 6. 6, 6 are 36. 6, 3 carried forward. 6, 3 is 18. 19, 20, 21, right? So cube of 6 is equal to 216 
and this part of the term will be equal to 6 plus 1 is 7 multiplied by 6 plus 2 is 8 right so this will be 216 plus 7 eighths of 56 right and this will be 6 plus 6 12 1 carried forward 1 plus 1 2 plus 5 7 and 2 so the sixth term will be 272 so I would suggest you to keep the cubes and squares of first few numbers handy remember them and it will help you in finding the logic faster and for more such videos yes you have to visit or subscribe to my youtube channel that's smart